Money, just liquid cash, loses value. Fuck the bottles. The bottles not taking you nowhere. Whitney or what? This place is it's scary. How are you? Not bad, yeah, I'm buying it. Uh, today is Monday. No. Today we're going to look at a couple properties. We tried to buy it, and this is uh, this is a money mine, you know? Uh, all he think about is money and business and buying property, investing. Well, me and him, we love cars, but he loves properties more than cars. I love cars, properties, nice stuff. He got a bunch of sheep, 75 sheep. But we all go to a couple pro uh, properties. It's our way from uh, my shop. Me and my boy Adip, we're gonna go check it out. This is the key. This is the key of the King, King Wheeler tires. Adip, all the king you see, he have his hand in there. You know, he's like a snake on the ground in there. Well, right here we don't support Starbucks. We 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 are Dutch Dutch bro. Dutch bros now. I go early in the morning. Hi, good morning. How are ya? I, I guess I want to just say is uh, stay blessed, everybody, y'all. You know, just. You know, find the right path. They hold the bottles in the clubs. Hey, this is them. This is them in the club holding bottles. Nah, bro. I want you to come to me with stack of money. Oh, exactly. Fuck the bottles. The bottles not taking you nowhere. The bottles gonna run out. Invest yourself, bro. Invest everything yourself. Keep making money. Keep hustling and build up fucking a gold mine for yourself. You just gonna hustle. Tell me. But how long you been doing this? Yeah, I've been doing it for like at least 25 years. Believe me, you, when you was in the game, I was not even in the game. Oh, yeah. I was working at Tom Tom or Walmart. Uh, you, you, you've been hustling before me. You know, it's, it's just the people that they don't want to hustle. You, what time do you wake up? Shit, 5.30. But I mean, you know, it wasn't easy. I mean, shit, I was, I was broke at the time too. Everybody was broke. Even I was broke. I was working two jobs, Tom Tom and Walmart in 2003 and four. Hey, I, you start somewhere. But the problem is nobody, they just want to jump, uh, go somewhere. No, you got to go step by step, bro. Nothing happened overnight, bro. It take time. Hey, yeah, you broke. Everybody's broke. Nobody uh, born rich, except if your parents are fucking billionaires, rich motherfucker, you're born in a rich family. Man, I come fucking, we come to America 96. We have no money, but it's, it's opportunity for everybody. They don't want to hustle. See, when I first started, the business was called King Wheel Covers. I was selling hubcaps. And then eventually I, I went into tires and wheels. Living in my parents' house, and we just had, we already, me and my wife had two baby boys, and I'm living in my parents' house, not the master bedroom, the regular bedroom. We're going to the top now, and you know, it took a little while, but finally got out of the you're, house. You're on top right now. I'm fucking sitting on it's, it's good to work while you got the power to work. That way, when you're older, you can chill. But if you're gonna go out and party and fucking popping bottles all day long when you're 65 years old, you're still gonna be working at Lowe's or Home Depot, Shit. pushing carts out for people. Like, fuck that, man. I learned something, little bullshit. Somebody tell, saying, it's rich, it's, you know, somebody, oh, I, like to me, to me, it's when somebody says I'm rich, I go, yeah, you have a couple million, whatever. I don't want to be fucking rich. I want to be wealthy. When I'm walking away from this game, I have money coming to my pocket. I don't even have to put one step in the game. It keep going up and up and up and up. Motherfucker, your jewelry don't go up and up and up. It keep coming down and down and down. I said, man, when I, when I see people bu buying all this bullshit, shit, I swear to God, I would never buy a car if I don't have another property to back it up. I buy a car, the reason is because I already buy me another property. That property is gonna go pay my car note. That's the bottom line. I go hardcore, bro, in the game. You might see me nighttime, I'm chilling. But when it come daytime, shit, I will stop all day. Even if I stop working, my mind is still working. Continue, it's consistent. So I was making good money, working for my dad, flipping burgers. He was paying me good money back in the day. But I took a risk. So you know what, I'm gonna go out and sell some hubcaps to these dealerships and drive around. And hell yeah, it was scary a little bit, but shit, you gotta do what you gotta do. But I was just out there hustling, trying to get out of, that, out of my dad's house, you know? Then finally, I was able to buy my first house. Boom, moved in and started running my business out of my house. But seven days a week, man, for a long time. But it finally pays off, you know? You work hard, save your money, it'll pay off. Let's look at this property over here. Where we at, man? Well, well, we somewhere in Texas. Is this Whitney or what? Hey, this building need a little bit of work. Need a little bit more love. Hey. Hey, man, I can do this. The showroom right here. Yeah, th this guy will come by room for months, Tyrus. I just wanna, wanna know how far is it good to? It reminded me of the, the keyword tire, green and black. They yeah, look like uh, the old partners were here before. 
And this place has been for a long time closed down. You think they added all that new? That sounds new, maybe the building. They need a little bit more work on it, brother. I wonder how big the property is. Just watch out, hey, watch out for no snake. This is probably a septic tank. Hey, all I know, if this AC is in uh, uh, my hood, that will rob this bitch in two minutes. I promise you, hey, this building is really nice. $50,000, you make it brand new. Just all say. All you gotta do now is just drive up and down the road. $100,000, you make this bitch brand new. It's been here for a long time. Why do you have a, a wake with number? I'm looking at this building right here. Uh, it don't even have an address. It's green and black. Adib, I wonder how busy is this way, Adib? Yeah, I know. We need to go check out all that area. How many people live here? Do you know top of your mind? Um, I don't. I would have to uh, Google that and see. Please hold. Yeah, no problem. I'm going to tell this guy you buy your room for, bro. The list price is $185,000. Uh -huh. um, it is on 0. 0.573 acres. It is zoned commercial. Um, what other questions can I answer? Uh, how long has it been in the market? Six hundred forty-eight days. Yeah, it started out at about. They had it listed at three hundred and forty-five. Why? Why, why nobody's now. interested in this building? They had it listed at three hundred and forty-five thousand, and they have lowered it to one eighty-five. Then nobody interested in this building. Um, I mean, I guess not. Um, so, uh, I mean, I've shown it. I've shown it a couple times. Um, uh, how big? Time, uh, how, uh, if you don't mind, how yeah, big is it? Uh, how, how big is a lot? So it's not that big then? It's a little over a half acre. No, I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, yeah. it's, it's that, it's that hey, uh, can, can, I, uh, can you write my email? Can you send me the survey, everything, please? Um, I, I'll have to see if there's a survey. I, I will email you over everything I have on this one and um, see if there was a survey available. Oh, uh, thank you so much. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Damn, bro, this place is, is, is scary. <laughs> Uh, everything's close. Let's go check out the neighborhood. Uh, l l yeah, you're right. Let's go this way, see how it is. everything is. But we're probably going that way when we go to Fort Worth, right? You know what? It's some of this land, it's skinny. But I bet you it's deep. Yeah. You, you put all. I promise you, I promise you. This I'm, shop I'm, right I'm here. Asphalt, bro. Hey, this shop right here, for one person, is a hustler. He make, he make so much money in one corner, right here, middle of nowhere. It's just got you gotta put time in there and show the business love. You you show the business love and business will come to you. This is fun. This you, is you'd fun be surprised, do. bro. Just imagine people are people live here, bro. People jump in and out. Even people live 20 minutes from here, they will jump over here by room from retire from here. Oh yeah. Especially but you, you can get, make it look really nice and good. Oh yeah. You put a hundred thousand into this bad boy? Yeah, you just clean all the grass, fix it nice, put a new thing, new light, all the bullshit, nice paint. Nice office, nice restrooms. Just have an inventory stock, you make it happen. Let's go see how, how far the other one is. I offer them motherfuckers 100000 for it. I promise you, $100,000. No, $100,000, we'll close in 14 days. Cash money. Yeah, as long as they let us I don't need no inspection, I don't need nothing. I just want to come in, I give you 100 racks, get it off your hands. That way, when you come in here and you spend two hundred more thousand until you have three hundred thousand dollars until you get it looking really nice. Look, but I bet people, it's really deep. I would fence this whole bitch up too. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if she can send me the survey, everything, bro. And it's on a pretty busy little street here. You know the what? What that look about it, bro? It's, it's, it's coming. Look, like, look yeah, all. You're on a V. Yeah. I don't even know if this is a, this is. Yeah, yeah. Really look, there's another shop there. Tires, mufflers. People always want something to do. There's another tire shop right here. Look. Look at this tire shop. He has one set of used tires outside and three used tires right there. They don't give a fuck Jeez, about their tires. These people, they don't know how to do business. But you take that, that property, you fence off the whole back, and you make you another 2,000 square foot of storage in the back, bring in some inventory crazy. They won't even know what to do. The one that I like about this little bitty seal like this, they will give you a permit like this. Oh, yeah. And over here, the cool thing about it is you just go hard on your tires, inventory, and the wheels. You don't got to put that many wheels in there. Yeah. Put 50 cents. Put 50 set of uh, off-roads in here, you're good to go. Hey, how's it going, boss man? I, I think he's recording something. How are you? 
You, 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 are you the owner? No, sir. Why are you looking at it? I'm just looking, yeah, my boss, he told me to come take some pictures of some stuff, so I'm about to get out of here, but yeah. Okay, are you looking at it too? No, no, I'm not in charge, I'm, I'm about to leave. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah because, it's not my property. I'm because I'm buying it, I'm, I'm going to kick you out. Okay, yeah, well, Hello? Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I yeah, I'm buying it. I'm yeah. just... Oh, man, he's going to let his boss know. Some assholes there. <laughs> and his boss is going to go buy it right away. I think it's yeah, not that big. Homeboy, you know. Oh yeah, a lot oh, of work and it's not built, it's not big, bro. Yeah. It's only good but buy cars, sell cars. Tell the guy I was just joking, talk to him, see what he does. Yeah. No, boss man, I was joking with you, man. We okay. just stopped by looking at it, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like I said, right. I just, I'm That's cool. tired to come over here and take a picture. Right nothing more, nothing less. Okay. <laughs> so, right. oh, I'm not in charge of anything. So. Well, you, well, you boss tried to buy this building, what? I have no idea. He just said, hey, go to 904 and take some pictures. And see what, what do you boss do? Buy cars, sell cars, what? No, he's not a car guy. What do you do? Like, uh, commercial? Uh, I, I mean, he does a little bit of everything. I don't know, you know, I don't know what he wants to think about. Yeah, I think it's a lot of work and it's not oh, big. Yeah, it's not that big. That's the bays, that little bitty place. And yeah. That's just a wall, right? It's a wall right there. It's not, I don't, I'm not interested in this base. Yeah. Is a car dealer? No, uh, we have rim shops. Shop? Yeah, yeah, we 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 based in we in Dallas, bro. Okay. Yeah, well, I thought it was more bigger than uh, I thought. You know, in the pictures, it looked big. It looks big, yeah. Yeah. But uh, for rim, for what I do, you need a, a bigger space. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, the, the the two bed is cool, but you have nowhere to storage any tires, storage, only yeah. rim. Yeah, and everything's outside. And be honest, it, it is a nice corner. It can be only for buying cars, selling cars. You know, let it park so a lot. Put it here and work on them yourself and have yeah. an office, that's it. Yeah, for me, tell your boss good luck, brother. Yeah, like uh, I said, it's, unless you got some kind of shed to put some storage out here, so yeah. it's not. I don't know what your boss do, but hey, good luck, man. Right, I'm not you. interested in it. All right. I, I sell it to y'all. What do you want to tell the world, Adi? What is on your mind? You know, all we do is work, hustle, make money, you know, try to make a better life in life. I like the first one. The first one was doable. You uh -huh. gotta spend a little money in there and make it look really nice. Like I said, when people look at a property like they get scared of it because there's a lot of more a lot of work that needs to be done. But if we can come in there and get it, fix it all up, have it turnkey. Yeah, hundred thousand, put a hundred thousand in it, get make it turnkey for someone, then they're able to come in and just take over and pay rent because they can just come in, everything's ready to go for them. All they gotta do is focus on paying the rent and working. Yeah, whenever somebody sees a place like that with all that work. It's never gonna get open. It's gonna stay there. There's, they, they're scared to jump on it. I, I, I love shit like that because it's more easy for me to walk in to remodel it and buy it. It's easy. But some people are scared to buy it. They just want it ready to go. That shop, you buy it for 100, you spend 100 on it, you make it brand new. Second one too small. The, the second one is only good for a car lot. Somebody sell cars. I mean, talk about your work, brother. Talk, talk about your hustle. How old are you, by the way? 48. Uh, for all the, the youngsters. You're 48, you're still hustling like you're 21 years old. Uh, what do you think, bro? What, what, what do you recommend, bro? What is on your mind you want to tell these motherfuckers how to do it? Shit, I mean, just get up and do it every morning, man. Get up and put in those hours because it'll pay off, like I said, it's going to pay off at the end. What are you going to do, sit around and wait for it to come to you? Now you got to go out there and get it. I mean, you sit around all day long and Time goes by real fast. Next thing you know, you're 50, 60 years old, have nothing saved, no money saved, no property paying you. Shit, fuck that. Shit, my boy is very smart. Property. You have money coming to you every month, brother? Oh, yeah. Four or five houses, a couple of properties, commercial properties, land. So if today you walk away from business, you have no problem? No problem, yeah. I can sit back and relax now if I want to, but why not? Yeah, I like to work a couple more years. At least, get some more what, properties underneath, you know. Under your belt. Under the belt and get ready to, to just relax, you know. I can still, I never relax. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work until the day I die, you know. But I just not gonna be putting in hard slaving hours. hours a week. Yeah, 100 hours. But I'm gonna be driving around looking at properties. If there's a good opportunity to buy something and fix it, why not? Money, just liquid cash, loses value. I Remember, agree. you can have $100,000 and save it at your house or in the bank or whatever. And 10 years from now, that $100,000 it's not even worth a hundred thousand. It's probably worth about ninety, because everything around that, everything around all that money and all that would have already went up in value. So 
So you buy a piece of land for a hundred thousand, you ain't got to do nothing to it. And yeah. every month, it's like you're making three thousand dollars a month off of it. That one, I agree with you. Yeah. When people they, they try to save their fucking money, they think they're gonna have better opportunities to come. It's not. Whenever you have money with you, go we'll invest with somewhere, and your money is gonna keep growing. Man, you buy a property right now for a million dollar, a year and a half, two years from now, that property is two million dollar. I promise you. If you buy it for three hundred thousand dollar, that two three years from now, that property is seven hundred thousand dollar. It's keep going up and up and up and up. Just like that property in Waxahachie. Hey. I bought it seven years ago for a hundred and forty nine thousand dollars. And how much you sell it for? Eight hundred thousand. Exactly. That's what I'm. So it's about. like it, it's like it made ten thousand a month. Hey. I didn't even want, I shouldn't even sold. I could because now it's probably worth a one point two. But you know, it is what it is. I flipped out of it and jumped in and, and three more commercial properties that make more money for me. I promise, same here. I bought a property for 1.6 million. And today the appraisal will come in at 2.6 million dollar, bro. Yeah. I bought that bitch two years ago. It was right on the highway. And whenever they were doing the construction on the highway and nobody wanna jump in it and I jump in there. I take a risk. Guess yeah. what happened? Hey, everything go up Just in a like blink in the eye. The highway is done. Hey, I, I'm patient. I wait. She, the, the, right now, even they're offering me, they want to buy it. I don't want to sell it. I'm going to sit on it. I'm going to continue to do my business there. Let's keep going up and up. Your motherfucker cash in the bank or sitting home and under your back is not going to do no good for you. I promise you. Yeah. Hey, experienced guy right here, my brother right here, Adib, the king of kingdom. The <laughs> king of the king willers and tires. What, was, what I was saying for the snake, Jay? Well, you said you said you're glad you're glad winter time is here because now the grass is gonna die, and you get to see all the snakes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad the winter is coming, and the grass is all gonna die, and I will see all the snakes. Hey, this is the best time to see all the snakes. The best time, man. The grass is dying, and the snake you're gonna see them, and they're gonna be hiding they're gonna behind their... bushes here and there. They're gonna poke their heads out and they're gonna go hide. But they've already been exposed. <laughs> I love you, bro. See you guys the next one. Hey, man, <laughs> keep focusing on yourself. Keep hustling and keep building yourself to be badass, man. Don't listen to nobody. Just listen to yourself and keep doing it, bro. Whatever you're doing, don't give up on it. Do not give up on it. Shit will be happening in your favor if you keep focusing on it. I promise you on that one, bro. Just, hey, be yourself. And fuck the haters. Don't listen to nobody. Listen to yourself. If it's gonna benefit you, if it's gonna work for you, do it. Don't give up on it. That's the bottom line, bro.